I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my, my name. name. Ladies and gentlemen, Comfort Killers, I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. And I wanted to come to you tonight because, let me just make sure you can see that word right there. Here you are. That, that's a little better. I wanted to come to you tonight to give you a tool that uh, has helped me, and it's a cycle, uh, really. And in order to get to where you want to go, you must first let go. And I want to talk about that today with this chart and we can see how to actually move around this chart with ease and how to avoid any disruptions and maybe feelings bad and ill feelings about who you are and where you are at a current moment in time um first and foremost i wrote a book the book is available and on amazon and you could actually get that below by clicking the link. The book is called How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have. And what I mean by using tools you already have is all I'm doing is allowing you to see uh, that you have everything within you, all the resources, everything that you need. Sometimes you have to just activate these things, but you don't know where they are. So the book is the map to show you where these things are and how to activate, how to use them to change your life. You want more money, you want more happiness, you want more wealth, you want anything that you want to do. Some of us are a little shy and we, we're introverted and we feel like, hey, we can't own a business. Maybe you're looking at a lot of things going on on Twitter, a lot of things on Facebook, and you're realizing business is pretty outgoing. To have a business, you have to be outgoing. Well, what inside of you is is, is not there because we're fully, as, as humans, we are fully capable of doing anything and our abilities stretch beyond where you are now. So don't let your current situation, current place in, of being hold you back and say, well, that's just the way I am. That's just the way I was raised. That's just what I know. Have an open mind and uh, let me help you activate it. And that book is available now on Amazon. Or if you want a signed copy, I'm going to do that just because today's a special day. I'm going to do that for you today. And it is thecomfortkillerbook.com. Thecomfortkillerbook.com. If you want a signed copy, plus I'm going to give you the audio book as well. So that's that. So today we're talking about creating, persist, destroy. In any given point in our life, we're always at an area on this chart, on this pie right here. We're either in the create space, we're either in the persist space, or we're either in the destroy space. Take a note that the destroy space is damn near half of the chart, damn near ha half of the pie here. And it is because we tend to always be more in this space after something happens, um, you know, we get the house, we own the house now, we, we're, we're good. You know, we feel like we're good. So it's this level of satisfaction up here. Um, and then you go down and it's apathy, you know, apathy. Um, so let me just tr try to tell you what is in these spaces and why we go around the cycle. And sometimes you don't even know that you're going around a cycle here um, because you never looked at where you are at any given point in your life. If you really sit down and assess, hey, am I creating right now? Am I persisting right now? Or am I in this destroy phase? Then you could actually change things on a quicker basis than you're already doing. So if we were to, and, and I did a podcast, maybe you should check this out, uh, stacyacross.com. It's the be, do, have approach. So this is being... This is doing and this is having, right? If we were to put that approach inside this create, persist, destroy. And also when it comes to that, you're talking about be, do, have. And then there's another thing happening right here uh, within it. It's always the cycle of creation and, 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 and also destroy. And, and seasons happen like this. Like if you think about the seasons and naturally, um, so be, do, have, and I just wanted to put that in there because it all flows together, but listen to my podcast. So where are you on there? But let me put some terms of how you're going to know where you are. People most think that you start with the create space. 
people create space. Uh, people always think that you start with this because it's easier to think we always start with create creation, Genesis, all of that. You know, you start with that. But technically, you're starting in this destroy phase because most of the times when you look up, you're like, oh, whoa, I'm in the destroy phase. So what happens here? Um, after you persist, let's say you have a goal. All right. Let's say you have a, this, this, this thing is always like a little. Let's say you have some goals. Okay. After the goal is attained, you have a thing called. I'm going to just put it up here. Satisfaction. And that's really like on this line. Satisfaction. That's like on this line right here. And then, of course, what you have here is acceptance. So if you want to, you know, think about these lines, what separates it. It's satisfaction, and then down here, you just accepted everything that you have going on and destroy. So let's talk about a little bit of things that you have in this. You have boredom, apathy, greed is in here, some doubt, a little bit of fear, some worry, some despair. Okay. Um, and if you're having this portion of it, you got words like you're coasting, um, you're concluding, you're being a victim, um, survival. It's kind of, you're in the survival mode, blaming mode. So, you know, let's just, you know, equate this side of the thing with your ego slash victim. Okay. So, we, I, I realized at one point, you know, I was in this destroy phase. I was in this destroy phase so much that I was bored with life. I had apathy. I felt so bad. I was in despair. And that's like the lowest of the lowest in this. When you're, when you're here, that word, it's like the lowest, the lowest fear, you know, all these things are coming. Um, and then if you're having this, you're coasting, you're kind of, you know, you got some blame, you're blaming, uh, people, you're blaming, um, the government, you're blaming other folks for your, for your actions, your results that you're getting. So then how do you move out of this destroy phase? If you're in it, if you're in this destroy phase and I'm telling you, some people may stay in this phase for a lifetime, years, years that they could spend here. Well, today I want to give you a shortcut on how to get out of there in case you are in this space. We always want to be in this space. You have to go in this space. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to let you know that right now. You have to get to the destroy phase. And let me tell you a story. I had to do it and even, you know, starting comfort killers. Of course, you start something, you persist at it, then it, des it destroys itself. Now, what I mean by destroying yourself, it has to change. There has to be a new what? A new goal, because if you're you're just accepting what you have and, and that's it, it just coasts. You're just there, right? You're not doing anything new. And then you go into this part where you're, you're scared. You're scared. You're like, look what I've created. Look at the success I've created. How can I rotate that and keep that success? But guess what? You changed. You changed. You already had, that was just one goal. If you don't get up off that goal and go get another goal, even in the same business, the same, whatever, you got to keep leveling up because you will stick in this destroy phase for a long period of time till you get to despair. And we don't want you there. So in create, what do we got? The lowest level of create. And this is what happened to me when I was gambling When I had a crazy gambling addiction. Woo, man, the first thing I had to have. And this is at the bottom was hope. Let me see if I can put that there. Hope. Hope. That was the first thing. And then, you know, in this space, you have a desire. Excuse me. And then maybe comes a vision in, in this create space. And some faith. And in this one here, you know, that separates this, there's a rebirth of the person. Uh, uh, rebirth. 
okay? So as you can see, in, in, in being, what we could put here for being, you are the, you, you start choosing something else. This is choosing. And you kind of let go of the ego, and now you are thinking about being reborn into a spirit. Because when you let go of the ego, you realize that you create your world. It's not this thing that's holding you down with all of this. You are creating it. So the fastest way to get out of destroy is to get you some goals. And at the very least of it, have some hope for yourself. And then you get a desire and a burning thing inside. And then faith takes you. You are being. No one said yet, you got to start doing. So it's like you get a glimpse of some person that you want to be. And when I was addicted to gambling, I just didn't want to identify with this gambling person because of the results I was getting. So I identified with someone else and this person was choosing a different life. This person in this state right here of creating, you are being that person. You're, you're, you're thinking different. Would that person, would a gambler think like this? No. So you gotta be first. And there's a rebirth. So in, in the next phase here, in the persist, and this is the do portion, you know, you have intention, agreement here. You have, uh, you realize things. So let's put, just for that note, let's put, let's put agreement. You agree. Let's put agreement. And you're still based off of spirit here in these two categories. This category here is all ego. All ego. Okay. So in this phase, we have a big word here, love, enthusiasm, right? We have joy, we have uh, realization, we have realization, we have all of these things now, you're in the doing phase because this person that you have become does these activities does you know feels good about doing what makes them better you see what i'm saying this person will never feel that when you're over here you can't ever feel this joy and love right and now how do we look at this in a goal perspective let's say your goal is to um move out on your own okay say you're living with your moms you're living with your moms you're mad you're like, I gotta get out of here, okay? I gotta get out of here. You're in this destroy phase. You're destroying now being at home with your mom. You're destroying now living, you know, dependently. You're destroying these all these identities that you're destroying in this phase. You're like, I got to go. So you said, okay, I got some hope. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. So your goal is to live alone. And now you're, 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 you're gonna get out of there. So what happens is here, you have this desire, a burning desire to do that. You start becoming that person that lives alone. You did, the person that thinks about and, and becomes the person that lives alone that has this goal starts doing things differently. You understand? Starts approaching work differently. Starts saving money, thinking about money, do, approaching it differently, saving the activity of saving. The person starts going out and looking at places because this person does that. You created a person here. You're being this change. This person over here has an agreement of being dependent. You have to destroy that person. This one over here does not. This person over here has seized their self in a different light, sees their self as independent. They have chosen to do this. They have chosen now a little freedom. Now you get a rebirth, you actually do it, you feel great, in four months you live on your own, you do it. You feel great, you're, you're persisting. Um, you're, you, the agreement now is that you're an independent person, um, you feel good, enthusiasm, you have some satisfaction, you get there, you realize this goal, the goal is realized. And then you hit satisfaction. That's, let's say, a year, two years down the line, 
A year, two years down the line, what happens? You don't think about that, how that person was able to accomplish, right? Think about it. When, um, when I moved out, you know, in the beginning, it was the best thing that ever happened. Parties at my place. Yes, you love it. You're fixing up your place. You're doing all sorts of things. And then after a while, two years, and this happens all the time. Again, we're always in a create, uh, persist, destroy. And then what happens? You come over to here and it's like, whatever, <laughs> you know, you're not even thinking about that. That side of you, unless you create a goal, a new goal to shortcut this, to go right to create and say, you know what? The new goal is to renovate my kitchen. The new goal is to move to a bigger place. The new goal is to move to a different city. The new goal is to whatever it is. That goal now is coasting. When you have, you're just pretty much coasting. And then all of a sudden you, you, you don't have anything left in that area. So you have to create a new goal and a new desire. What, so what do you think will happen now if you have a lot of your goals that you've achieved in this area? And it's not just have to do with goals. Let's talk about you had someone die that's close to you, a close family member, and they had passed on, you know, you're, you go to this destroy phase and you could be there for a long time. If, cause you had an agreement before you're persisting with this person, right? You're persisting with this person. You have an agreement. It's realized all of a sudden it's not realized anymore. You're, you still have that agreement over here unless you give up the agreement. Okay. You will always be in this category and the, to get out of this category, you have to create a new goal. So a lot of people, you know, um, to, 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 to move on from a bad relationship is to maybe, uh, have a goal about health, you know, or, you know, I'm going to better myself so I could look for someone else. Um, you know, they, but this cycle of life is the cycle of life and it revolves around be, do, have. Let me give you a quick read on something here. This is actually the best thing that I know. It's a, it's a yellow brick, brick road of self-discovery. Create is a new beginning. The creative process begins with the vision of what our life might be like if we didn't have a problem, this problem. When this spark of an idea catches fire, turns into a burning desire, the motivation you will need to get the creative juices going. Our move uh, in consciousness from destroy into create is like being reborn, okay? Um, persist. In the persist quadrant, we do whatever we need to do to have what we want from life. In this segment, we are always enthusiastic about who we are and what we are doing. Life is enjoyable. And when we love ourselves and we know our dream is becoming reality, if you persist, your hunger for that better life will be satisfied so that you could sit back and enjoy the success, right? Nope. Okay. Only if you could give it away. The reward for reaching our goal is the satisfaction of completion, not permanent happiness. Okay. If we place too much value on the material gain that made us happy, we will surely be disappointed. The real benefit of this trip around the cycle was our growth in consciousness, not our material success. Okay. So it's so, this is like a road around self-discovery. That's what this is here. Um, we can sit back and enjoy our success for as long as we want. It will last coasting into destroy, or we can bypass the destroy by setting up a new goal. So I wanted to give you this and you can put it into any contest, but context, but first you have to figure out where you are currently, where you are currently. Hey, listen, I got a program. It's a 30 day video program. That program is titled the building blocks to success. It's a supplement from the book. Um, so if you want to just jump in the program today, you can just go to how to get uncomfortable.com, how to get uncomfortable.com, how to get uncomfortable.com. You can jump in the 30 day video course program with me sending you customized videos on a daily basis. I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in my name. If this has given you some value, has even sparked some interest, maybe watered a little seed that you had or planted a seed, this dash some seed in your dirt. Well, do me a favor and go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate it all. It actually makes me smile. Every time I'm creating and I see the feedback, I persist at this, baby. I persist at this. So send me the feedback. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for wa watching. Remember, it's quarter two coming up. 
April 1st is tomorrow. Whatever you're doing, happy, happy Easter. Be great at everything that you do. Always remember to remain uncomfortable. I am.